Wind is the movement of air caused by differences in atmospheric pressure. Air moves from higher to lower pressure as a result of an even heating of Earth's surface by the sun. Hot air rises and cooler air moves down, forming wind currents. Wind varies in duration and strength. Short duration. High-speed wind is called gust, while long-duration wind with various strengths may be referred to as breeze, gale, storm, or hurricane. Mechanical power can be produced from wind flows or air current. Since ancient times, it has been used to turn windmills and wind pumps and to sail large ships across oceans. Wind power is now becoming one of the mainstream sources, particularly in areas where strong wind is consistent all year. Wind power is harnessed using mounted turbines attached to towers with height ranging from 20 to 100 meters. Modern systems usually have three long blades that spin and cause turbine to generate electricity. A collection of individual wind turbines is called a wind farm. It is connected to an electric power transmission network or power grid. Wind farms are built onshore in flat areas, usually near coastlines. In other countries, offshore wind farms are developed due to stronger and steadier offshore winds compared on land but development and maintenance costs are higher. In the Philippines, wind resources are strongly dependent on latitude, elevation, and proximity to the coastline. Hilltops, mountain ridges, and coastlines in the northern and central regions of the country are the best locations because of their excellent exposure to prevailing winds. Good to excellent wind resources is present in Batanes and Babuyan Islands. Northwest tip of Ilocos Norte, higher interior terrain of Luzon, Mindoro, Samar, Leyte, Panay, Negros, Cebu, Palawan, Eastern Mindanao, east facing coast from northern Luzon to Samar, and wind corridors between Luzon and Mindoro and between Mindoro and Panay. Wind speeds ranging from 6.4 meters per second to 10 meters per second are considered good to excellent. The first wind farm in the Philippines is located in Bangui, Ilocos Norte, which has a total capacity of 33 megawatts. In 2015, a 54 megawatts wind farm consisting of 27 towers was built in Pilila, Rizal. Benefits of wind energy Wind energy provides many benefits. It saves money. More and more studies have confirmed that wind power will save consumers money. Clean electricity Widespread wind development addresses climate change by providing a non-polluting source of energy that displaces greenhouse gas emissions from conventional power. Energy independence. Wind energy promotes national security by reducing our reliance on foreign and volatile sources of fossil fuels. A new crop. Wind farms can help save the family farm by allowing traditional land use revenues to be supplemented by new revenue streams afforded by land leasing agreements. Also, wind farms substantially broaden the tax base in rural communities. Some benefits of wind energy are renewable energy, inexhaustible, not pollutant, reduces the use of fossil fuels, reduces energy imports, creates wealth and local employment, and contributes to sustainable development. Wind energy is a source of renewable energy. It does not contaminate. It is inexhaustible and reduces the use of fossil fuels, which are the origin of greenhouse gases that cause global warming. In addition, wind energy is a net native energy because it is available practically everywhere on the plant which contributes to reducing energy imports and to creating wealth and local employment. For these reasons, producing electricity through wind energy and its efficient use contributes to sustainable development. Wind energy does not emit toxic substances or contaminants into the air, which can be very damaging to the environment and to human beings. Toxic substances can acidify land and water ecosystems and corrode buildings. Air contaminants can trigger heart disease, cancer, and respiratory diseases like asthma. Wind energy does not generate waste or contaminate water.
and extremely important factors given the scarcity of water. Unlike fossil fuels and nuclear power plants, wind energy has one of the lowest water consumption footprints, which makes it a key for conserving hydrological resources. Since early regarded history, people have harnessed the energy of the wind. Wind energy propelled boats along the Nile River as early as 5000 BC. By 200 BC, simple windmill in China were pumping water while vertical axis windmills with woven reed, reed seals were grinding grain in Persia and the Middle East. New ways of using the energy of the wind eventually spread up around the world. By the 11th century, people in the Middle East used windmills extensively for food production. Returning merchants and crusaders carried this idea back to Europe. The Dutch refined the windmills and adapted it for draining lakes and marshes in the Rhine River Delta. When settlers took this technology to the New World in the late 19th century, they began using windmills to pump water for farms and ranches and later to generate electricity for homes and industry. American colonists used windmills to grind wheat and corn to pump water to cut wood and so mills. With the development of electric power, wind power found new applications in lighting buildings remotely from centrally generated power. Throughout the 20th century, small wind plants suitable for farms and residents and larger utility scale wind farms that could be connected to electricity grids were developed. There are many advantages and disadvantages of wind energy, most of which should be discussed in this video. Advantages of wind energy Wind energy has numerous benefits in helping to provide a source of clean and renewable electricity for countries all over the world. This section takes a look at the many different advantages of wind energy. First, Renewable and Sustainable Wind energy itself is both renewable and sustainable. The wind will never run out unlike the Earth's fossil fuel reserves such as coal, <clears throat> oil, and gas, making it the ideal energy source for a sustainable power supply. Environmentally Friendly Wind energy is one of the most environmentally friendly energy sources available today. After the manufacture and installation of wind turbines, there will be a little to no pollution generated as a result of the wind turbines themselves. Wind turbines produce no greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide or methane, which are both known to contribute towards global warming. It should be noted that noise and visual pollution are both environmental factors, but they don't have a negative effect on the earth, water table, or the quality of the air we breathe. Third, reduces fossil fuel consumption. Generating electricity from wind energy reduces the need to burn fossil fuel alternatives such as coal, oil, and gas. This can help to conserve dwindling supplies of the Earth's natural resources, allowing them to last longer and help to support future generations. Fourth, wind energy is free. Unlike some other energy resources, wind energy is completely free. There is no market for the supply and demand of wind energy. It's there to be used by anyone and will never run out. This makes wind energy a viable option for generating cheap electricity. Fifth, remote power solution. Wind, wind turbines can play a key role in helping to bring power to remote location. This can help to benefit everything from a small off-grid village to a remote research station. 6. Job Creation The wind energy industry has boomed since wind turbine first became available on the market. This has helped to create jobs all over the world. Jobs have been created for the manufacture of wind turbine, the installation and maintenance of wind turbines, and also in wind energy consulting, where specialist consultants will determine whether or not a wind turbine installation will provide a return on investment. We've seen the advantages, now it's time to take a look at the main disadvantages of wind energy. First, the wind fluctuates. 
the wind energy is sustainable and will never run out, the wind is not always blowing. This can cause serious problems for the wind turbine developers who will often spend significant time and money investigating whether or not a particular site is suitable for the generation of wind power. Second, installation is expensive. All the costs are reducing over time, the installation of a wind turbine is considered expensive. A site survey will need to be carried out which may involve having to erect a sample turbine to measure wind speeds over a significant period of time. If deemed adequate, the wind turbine will need to be manufactured, transported, and erected on top of a pre-built foundation. All of these processes contribute to the overall cost of installing a wind turbine. Third, Threat to Wildlife It's widely reported that wind turbines pose a threat on wildlife, primarily birds and bats. It is, however, believed that wind turbines pose less of a threat to wildlife than other man-made structures such as cell phones, masts, and radio towers. Nevertheless, wind turbines are contributing to mortality rates among bird and bat populations. Fourth, noise pollution. One of the most popular disadvantages of wind turbines is the noise pollution that they generate. A single wind turbine can be heard from hundreds of meters away. Combine multiple wind turbines and the audible effects can be much greater. Noise pollution from wind turbines has ruined the lives of some homeowners, although steps are often taken to site. Wind turbines away from dwellings, they do sometimes get built too close to where people live and this is why new wind farms often come up against strong public objection. Fifth, visual pollution. Another widely reported disadvantage of wind turbines is visual pollution. Although many people actually like the look of wind turbines, others do not and see them as a blot on the landscape. This tends to come down to personal opinion and as more wind farms are built, public acceptance is being commonplace. In conclusion, wind energy is one of the few forms of sustainable energy. It has many benefits, great advantages, minimal disadvantages, and has long been used since the time of civilization. We the researchers have found out that wind energy and solar energy compared to other energy sources is better and is efficient today for us and for our dying world.